going on in the USA was really just about competing. You know, everybody's down there was top in the country, so going on there and competing against them was really fun for me, and I feel like I got better and learned a lot. What did you learn? I learned uh, moving out the ball, playing hard, being a leader, um, energy, every step of the way, energy. I love energy and just playing hard. There's a laundry list of teams that have offered you since since the season ended. Oklahoma on June 1st, LSU and Ohio State, that's obviously a big one. They get the big home school, Ohio State. What do those mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. You know, I just got to keep working hard. You know, I'm only a freshman right now or a sophomore right now, so I got a lot more work to do, so I just got to keep working hard, keep pushing through. You know, I remember when your cousin Nishi got that Louisville offer, oh, yeah, sure. right, like, right going into his freshman year. <laughs> I'm going to guess the Ohio State offer was a big one for you. A big one for me. That's one of my dream schools, you know. Um, I love Ohio State, the system. My uh, cousin Michi loved it, too, so, you know, Ohio State offering me was a really a, a blessing, you know. In uh, Ohio, your dream school for any kid, most of them, 95% of them is to get an offer from Ohio State, you know what I'm saying? If it's football or basketball, you know, Ohio State is Ohio State, so to, to, for Ohio State to offer him, to offer my son, is, uh, it was a dream come true. You know, with, I'm not saying all the other offers was great, too. It was nothing like getting something from Ohio State or something. Or uh, even even let's be Cincinnati in your own state. Um, that's that's a blessing. Well, we talked after that last game. You know, he had a big senior on him, and it's all about learning experience. Okay. What do you feel like he's taking from those learning experiences? Well, he doesn't add a couple pounds of muscle, which is always uh, really important, uh, and and just knowing how to play against stronger guys because that take a year or so to get used to. Mm-hmm. And then also he's playing all these top against USA basketball. These guys are super strong too. So I think just getting the feel of the game, getting the feel of the, the speed of the game. I think that's what's making him excel. Man, uh, big moments, you know, big stage, big moments, you know. Um, so a good, good team. That was a good team. We played. Um, yeah, it was, it was physical. So we we got a. Uh, we didn't get the win, but we learned a lot that, that game. You know, on top of the offers, on top of Team USA, uh-huh. the Nike Elite Camp in June. You and TJ Crumble were both there. Uh-huh. I think it was what 80 juniors, 20 sophomores. You guys yeah, were amongst was, the 20 sophomores. Yeah, for sure. What was that like? Oh, it was it was great. You know, down there were a lot of other top players in the country, you know, um, a lot of good sophomores, a lot of good freshmen, so playing against them and competing against them was really fun for me, you know, I, just, we, I went down there and competed, you know, that's what everybody went to see, and it was a great experience. And some new teammates, I mean, Dre is getting better and better, we got CJ back, you guys had Carter Jackson, Braylon Langley from Indiana, a couple of freshmen are come in, what are you seeing from this group, especially this weekend, as you guys are being able to play together? A uh, special group, you know, for me, I feel like a special group, you know, a special group for us, uh, this year, I feel like we got it. You know, um, we're going to chase this ring this year, and I feel like we can do it, especially if we keep learning and growing together.